Welcome to Doc's Daily Dose for Dads, prescribed by Dr. Harrison. So you know I love to learn new things, all the time. I mean, something interesting, intriguing, especially if it's opposing to my view, I love to dive into it, just to go down that rabbit hole, even if it just means you know research or just sitting down contemplating about it. Now I mentioned yesterday how I had a bunch of meetings prior to going to the James Taylor concert. One of the meetings I had was with a gentleman by the name of Mike. Mike, I hope you don't mind me shouting you out here. Um, now, Mike has always been nice to me, and we've always had good conversation, uh, but you know, it, he was more of an acquaintance. But after our meeting, I actually consider him a friend now. You know, um, he's always willing to share wisdom, he's super genuine and compassionate about it. And after our meeting, I was telling him how we were going to James Taylor and Hot Air Balloon Ride, and he had shot me an email saying, oh, here's the link to the thing I was talking about, that's irrelevant to this point here. Um, and I shot him back an email saying, yeah, we had a great time at the concert, hot air balloon ride, but we're totally exhausted and go figure the kids don't even care that we're tired. And his witty response as always, which was funny, but also so on point with insightful wisdom was kids force us to live in the here and now you can always sleep later. And the first thing I did when I read it was smile and then go, huh? What great insight, right? And I thought about it for the last 24, 48 hours. And he's completely right. And I knew this already, but I learned something again to always you know, be willing and open to hear what anyone has to say, even if it is just a witty remark or something that is you know, poignantly true. Um, but he brought truth back in the fact that yes, kids do force us to live in the here and now. You know why? Because that's where they're living. And here's another point that I took from that is, you can learn from your kids too. You know, as, as it's Sunday and there's not much going on and the kids are rounding the corner to end school to get ready for summer, they were in the house today and I just kind of sat back and watched them and listened to them. And everything they were doing was focused on the here and now. They weren't worrying about tomorrow. They weren't worrying about the last two days of school. They weren't worrying about whether or not they were going to play sports this summer or what summer sessions were going to be like or being with dad during summer school. None of that was a concern. All they were focused on, my oldest, was dealing with his football cards. My middle one, using glitter to bedazzle up his Rams jersey with the yellow and gold. My youngest, just eating frozen yogurt and watching one of his cartoons. That was their concern. And when they switched to start roughhousing and playing with each other, all the stuff they were doing was forgotten. It was just about the roughhousing and running around, yelling and screaming, playing with each other. That was it. Now, I'm not saying we learn from them in the sense that we forget about the things we have to do for work or you know, getting the groceries or whatever the things are. We can plan those things out and set up what we have to do. But what I learned from that in taking from the kids and also from the wisdom that Mike shared is, Whatever I'm doing right here and now, that's where all my attention, all my focus needs to be. Right now, I'm doing this video. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. I got to do other stuff like I want to wash the truck. I want to finish cleaning up the garage. You know, um, I want to watch the game later tonight, but I'm not concerned with any of that. That stuff's all on the schedule, and if I get to it, I get to it. But what I'm focused on right now is just this. And I think that's the way we should all be, especially when it comes to our parenting as well. When we're with our kids, we're just with our kids. We don't have to be sharing wisdom all the time. It's just about hanging out. It could also come to some points where we are giving little tidbits of insightful wisdom, but it can also just be chilling around with the boys, which is another great thing that Mike shared with me over our, our lunch, our coffee meeting. So always keep your eyes open your ears open, and your mouth shut. And pay attention to what's going on around you, especially when you're with your kids, because they can teach you so much about how to live this life right, how to do the things you want to do right, how to be a better parent, how to be a better person overall. And listen to the other people you're talking to. And when you find someone who shares great wisdom with you, hear it, take it in, sit back, contemplate, reflect on it. It could change the entire way you approach things or, like me, simply remind me that I need to be in the here and now whenever, with whatever I'm doing, with whoever I'm with. And he's right. I can sleep later, just like I did yesterday. 
It, I had to wait till about three o'clock to get a one hour nap in. And that's totally fine. Right. So, Mike, I really appreciate the wisdom. It let me see the wisdom that you were talking about in my children, but also let me apply it to what I'm doing just in general in life, but also in parenting. Um, and now I'm sharing your wisdom and your words and the wisdom that I saw with my children being in the here and now with anyone who watches this. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm looking forward to having more chats, having you over for barbecue and UFC fight. That's all I got. That's Doc's Daily Dose for Dads. Don't forget to hashtag Doc's Daily Dose for Dads, hashtag 4D. Hit the subscribe button. All social media at RebirthBX, Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music. If you can't watch the video and you're driving in your car, uh, check out the website, RebirthBX.com. I'm going to enjoy finishing editing this video. And then after that, we'll see if I get to the stuff on my list, but I'll make sure that I stay present in whatever I'm doing, whenever I'm doing it. Talk to you tomorrow.